Now for the latest on the weather, the drought index, and everything else, let's go to First Alert Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brian Albrecht. You know what, Brian, where you are, I don't think it's too dry. <laughs> no, and it's probably going to get a little bit wetter throughout the night. And as a matter of fact, some of it might even precipitate if it uh, goes flying through the air. You know, in my job, every I have to put on makeup, but I have to say, I've never worn a skirt. Now, there are people here who are uh, in various states of Irish garb. Never worn a skirt. Oh, no. I can't believe this. I'm being held hostage. This is, this is Nick Bennett, and he's got the traditional tartan on here, the kilt. Now, Nick, this is not something you got at Walmart or Target, is it? No, no. I had this made in Edinburgh. That's in Scotland. That's, that's in not Scotland. But I'm Scotch Irish. Oh, okay. So, so that's, that's, that's okay. That's good that's enough. Okay. That's good. Okay. All the best kilts are made up in Scotland. Okay. And, and you're secure enough in your manhood that you'll wear a skirt. Obviously so. I guess so. Although I'm the only one here, I think. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot of other ones. Watch your hands. Yeah. <laughs> but in any event, a lot of folks having a lot of fun down here. And why not? It's St. Patrick's Day. It's uh, probably the most fun holiday at least in Ireland and maybe around the world. Let's take a look at what's going on in the weather around the neighborhood. The big thing is no rain, but there's plenty of fun to be had right here in Jacksonville Beach. We're live again at Lynch's Irish Pub. They'll be going here into the wee hours of the morning. All right, Brian, by the way, a little secret. He doesn't have a hilt. He has later hosing. <laughs> it was definitely a nice day to be outdoors and a great day for a visit to Disney. Another beautiful day on the outside, and there'll be uh, plenty of St. Patrick's Day celebrations, and Brian is that one right now. Brian, get an early start down in Jacksonville Beach. Brian, how's it looking out there? It's looking great. You know, we're at Lynch's Irish Pub here in Jacksonville Beach on First Street, and I found me some leprechauns, Bagosh and Bigora. This one here is Dawson, and this is Duncan. Dawson is 100% Irish, and Duncan over here, he says he's a quarter Irish. Uh, Duncan, which quarter is Irish? Like one leg? I guess. Oh, I, I don't know. But uh, anyway, a lot of folks who may not be Irish any other day of the year are Irish tonight. And uh, you guys got a pot of gold? Well, if you get a pot of gold, I mean, you got to give it to me because when you find a leprechaun, you're supposed to get their pot of gold. You don't have a pot of gold? No. Oh, that's a shame. Well, anyway, there's plenty of fun going on out here at uh, the uh, Irish Pub, and Lynch's Irish Pub in Jacksonville Beach, and it'll be going on till the wee hours of the morning. So uh, if you're looking for something to do, I guess this is one of many of the celebrations that'll be going on. I, myself, I'm a designated driver. Let's take a look at what's been going on around Jacksonville all day long. A bright, sunny sky. We need some rain. Not seeing any coming up the next week or so. So thanks, Duncan and Dawson. Uh, enjoy yourself down here. We'll be here for a while. Thank you much. A couple little leprechauns there. That's right. Brian, thanks. thanks. One of the nation's biggest St. Patrick's Day celebrations is going on right up the coast in Savannah. The tradition dates back more than 100 years. And ABC 25's Ned Roberts is right in the middle of the party. Ned? I am in the thick of it all here on Savannah's historic River Street. Hope you're going to be able to hear me here. I'm going to give it a gift to the pier as well. Stay in the spirit here. We got all sorts of fun going on. We got green beer, live music, a ton of folks having a ton of fun. This place is general, has basically become Savannah's post parade party central. Earlier today, I had a chance to spend some time on a, at a parade that date back, dates back to 1824. <laughs> I had a chance to talk with Savannah police and they say that they're very pleased with how revelers have been behaving over the past week. They say arrests are down 65%. Folks are having a great time out here. I've got a new fashion statement to make here on the news and uh, top of the evening to you from Savannah's River Street. Things are going to be going on late into the night here. Ned Roberts, ABC 25 News, back to you. <laughs> Looking good there, Ned. Thank you. Meantime, Irish eyes were smiling throughout New York City today.